Jennifer. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. When did you when did you find out about this? Well, um, about 2.53, I think, was the moment because I was literally sound asleep and a uh, phone rang and I saw it was a reporter who I know, you know, I picked it up and she said, hi, this is Heidi, you know, calling from Nature and I wanted to get some comments on the Nobel and I, I thought she was calling to ask me to comment on somebody else winning the Nobel. So I, and I was, de you know, just really dead asleep and I said, oh, Heidi, gosh, I haven't even had time to look at anything yet and she said oh my gosh you don't know and I said no what and she said you want to know all that what did you think about the what, what's the significance of this is the first Nobel Prize given only to women is that true yes ever 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 <laughs> <laughs> my feeling is that I think among women and and girls that you know, sometimes there's a sense that no matter what they do, that their work will not be recognized the way it would be if they were a man. And um, um, and I just I, I hope that this this prize and this this recognition changes that at least a little bit. There's a lot of lot of stuff, a lot of text. Yuri Yuri wrote me. Congratulations, enjoy the ride. Uh, I'm sorry, Jamie, this is gonna be crazy for you too. <laughs> I don't know, we need to get We need to get going, way. yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Are you gonna come with us? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. I'll yeah. ride in the back seat this time. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. Have you been here before, Andy? No. This is a journalism school. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Good morning, good early morning. My name's Chris. How are Hi, you Chris. Guys? I'm well. Good, good. And so we'll be setting up here. Okay. We're going to keep our distance. We're going to set the mic up, make sure you're okay. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're going live. Good morning from UC Berkeley, California, where we are over the moon with the news that the Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded to Dr. Jennifer Doudna and her colleague, Emmanuel Charpentier. Jennifer, at this point in the ceremony, um, I present you with the most prized of all Berkeley perks, a free parking space. Um, so I expect you'll never have trouble parking on campus again. <laughs> Thank you very much to Roque, to Chancellor Christ, Dean Clark, and Dean Botchen. I'm I'm over the moon. Um, I'm in shock, and I couldn't be happier to be representing. UC Berkeley. Wow, it's a wild day. It's a weird day, yeah. yeah. No, it's a fun one though. You've been up since four? Uh, 2.53 <laughs> oh to be God. exact. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh God. You know, elbow bump. <laughs> Getting party stuff ready, so that's an important <laughs> shot. Such an honor to work with Kai Hong. For 27 years, we've worked together. And we couldn't, couldn't have done it without Kai Hong. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we super glued it on, actually. Just Be to careful. Going to go. <laughs> Should I get the sword? <laughs> <laughs> you might need the sword. It's just really exciting day for the for the lab, for our science, for, for all of our colleagues. I really want to just say how grateful I am to be doing all of this work here at Berkeley, public university, open to everyone. I think this is a, something that really is near and dear to my heart. Um, cheers. <laughs> <laughs>